It's 20 past five, we've just moored up. We've just come past Marsden Junction. Um, we're on the outskirts of Bedford now. Uh, this'll do us for tonight. Tomorrow, we're gonna move down to Hawkesbury Junction, down to where the Greyhound pub is. Um, and we've had it, had it on good authority that the food there is excellent. So we might treat ourselves and have a meal. But yeah, down to Hawkesbury Junction tomorrow. Who knows when we're gonna turn on the North Oxford. We may have a couple of nights at Hawkesbury. We have got plenty of time, and as I said earlier, we're definitely going up the Ashby, but we want to enjoy it, so uh, we're going to take our time. We may heave, even carry on down towards Coventry and go down to the Coventry Basin, so as we can say that we've done the whole of the Coventry Canal. We probably will do, to be honest. I might get up early in the morning, we'll cruise down, if it doesn't feel safe, if we get a bad feeling about it, at least then we can turn around and come back and then get on the North Oxford. We'll see, but it'll be good to do it. Right, I'm going to go in now and have some tea, a nice shower, a film, and it will be an early night. Unfortunately, Nicky was up most of the night. Poor little Dale's got an upset telly, uh, tummy. Um, yeah, you can imagine, on a narrowboat. So, uh, yeah, Nicky's very, very tired. I didn't hear a thing. I slept like a log, but uh, there you go. <laughs> but he's a bit better. He's all right in himself, so don't worry. He'll be fine. We're keeping an eye on him. Uh, nice dry food for Daily Whaley. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Yes, we're in a different place again. We're about 40 minutes from where we were moored last time you saw us. Uh, we are at Hawkesbury Junction. It's Thursday the 12th of May, by the way. Just up that way is Hawkesbury Junction and the famous Greyhound pub. Um, we had a lovely time there, by the way, yesterday. I had a lovely meal with our new friends, Martin and Julie. They're boaters. They've been relatively new to boating, uh, but they are liverboards. Uh, we've been looking out for them this morning because they're heading up the Coventry. Uh, new waters for them. And today, it's going to be new waters for us. Um, we're going down the Coventry Arm. Uh, I was down here once before and I'd heard all sorts of horrible rumours about thugs and drugs and rock and roll. Uh, all sorts going on down the Coventry Arm. Um, so we went down the North Oxford. We just turned uh, 180 degrees at Hawkesbury Junction. Um, and then afterwards, <laughs> when I put the vlog out, loads of boaters said, you should have gone. It's lovely down in the basin. Um, it's not the nicest of waterways. I think it's good to say that. Um, very industrial, which you'll see. Um, but apparently in the basin, it's really nice. So we're going down there. We can take the kids to town. We want to show them the legendary cathedral there that was obviously bombed heavily in World War II. It was a heavily bombed city, was Coventry, in the Midlands, sadly. So, uh, yeah, we want to tell them a bit of history about that and basically have a good fun in the city. So we're going to move that way. Let's get going. There's the old toll house at Hawkesbury Junction and that's the North Oxford Canal and this is Hawkesbury Junction. Got the service area just under the bridge over there somewhere. And there's the infamous Greyhound pub. We have had a couple of meals there. Absolutely gorgeous food. Can't recommend it enough. And they do a lovely pint of mild as well. But today we're going down the Coventry. Just as you enter the uh, Coventry Arm, there's this beautiful bridge with the sculptures on it. You just walk over that bridge and uh, turn right and there's a shop. Virtually stocks everything really. Brilliant little shop. And just lurking through the trees is the as ever busy M6 motorway. Runs north to south, virtually down to Crick actually, down to Rugby and up towards the lowlands of Scotland.
Well, we've only been on here a few, uh, well, five minutes, ten minutes, something like that. And I've already had to clear the prop a few times. There's certainly a bit of debris floating. Uh, and from what I'm led to believe, it gets worse the further down you get. But uh, it's supposed to be all good at the basin. And uh, it's nice, though. It's new waters together, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. So we're looking forward to it. Well, up to now, you know, it doesn't really seem that bad. There's uh, quite a bit of debris we, we went past, but there's some nice little areas too. It's sort of 50-50 at the moment, but there's like industrial estates everywhere. You can see there's a factory or something behind me there. Uh, and then you've got greenery on the other side. So it's a, it's a bit of a mixture so far. So, so far, yeah, so far, not bad. We just came under a bridge back there and there was a few canoes in the water and a film crew and we actually saw Ellie Harrison, the country file presenter. She said hello to us as we went under the bridge so uh, who knows, we might be on country file. And here they are, the first cygnets that we've spotted. We've seen more hens and coots and ducklings. Oh, look, the first little cygnets. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> and we're just going past Stoke Heath Basin now, once owned by the co-op dairies that uh, operated a fleet of working boats from here. Quite tight in there. Not far to go at all now, we're just coming towards bridge two. So uh, yeah, obviously one is the last one, or one A, I'm not sure really without looking at the book. Uh, so far it really hasn't been that bad. It has been industrial, yes, in parts, but it's also been very beautiful as well in parts. Um, I haven't picked up any shopping trolleys or mattresses, so everything's good so far. But we're not quite there yet.
as you can see we're moored up in the basin and if we're honest we like it here it looks very very nice got a good feeling about it uh, quite imposing with the 60s architecture looking over it would have looked a lot better a lot different back in the day um, it's really nice there's a lovely statue here of Mr Brindley himself obviously designer and builder of the Coventry Canal but it's nice and we got the last space I had to sort of wind in the winding hole up there and then back up uh, reverse through two boats and then get it in this little gap here but um, no problem with bow thrusters obviously but yeah it's lovely to be here so uh, over the next uh, couple of days we'll have a little bit of, a, of an explore I think we're going to go and have something to eat over in a cafe that we spotted at the corner and then I think we're going to go to town and have a little bit of a walk around town uh, with the doggies so that'll be nice yeah got a good feeling about Coventry So, ladies and gentlemen, some of these days you're gonna miss me, honey. Some of these days. Well, good afternoon. It's Saturday the 14th of May and the sun's shining and it's a beautiful day. Uh, we left Coventry Basin and we were going to sneak down back to Hawkesbury Junction, which is just behind us now. But there was no moorings available, unfortunately. Uh, at the junction, we wanted to stop and meet up with our friends again, Julie and Martin. But unfortunately, we were forced to come through the stop lock and now we're on the North Oxford. Uh, but we had a lovely time in Coventry. Let's get cruising and we'll tell you all about it. Well, I've just turned the engine off. I don't know whether you can hear the, the buzzing of the electric coming from this power station. Oh, this is a nice place to moor up. What do you reckon? No, I think we'll keep going. Coventry was really nice and so much so we're thinking of going back there uh, on the way back on the return trip uh, we had a couple of lovely nights there in the basin we went to town we did some shopping uh, got some new clothes woo -woo. Um, but it was nice yeah we enjoy the city just for a couple of days but, but that was enough really um, saw lovely old buildings there some of the architecture uh, throughout the city was quite breathtaking actually uh, and it's it's funny how it all mixes in with the new uh, they've done a very good job of sort of mixing in and blending it in and you just walk around a corner and you'll find a very like a, an old pub uh really old buildings timber frame buildings yeah really magnificent but the highlight of the whole visit has to be the cathedral uh well the, the remains of the old cathedral uh, on the 14th of november 1940 that evening german bombers uh flattened the roof off or uh, blew the roof off the cathedral and it still stands now in remembrance uh, but it was really nice to walk through there 
Um, it was quite sad actually, it was quite emotional when uh, we all walked in, you could feel it. Uh, and you could see little bits of stained glass still in the windows. Remarkable. Um, and then to top it all off, we heard a choir singing. Yeah, so that was really nice to be in the cathedral and, and hear that. They must have been practicing or something just outside the walls. But uh, yeah, it was a lovely visit. Afternoon. Just to our starboard side, we can hear the motorway, the M6, roaring. Everyone's going a lot quicker than we are. I know where I'd rather be. And there is the very busy M69 motorway. We were thinking of mooring up in a place called Anstey, which is just back there. Um, unfortunately though, no moorings available. There was one, but it was on a tight bend, so obviously that's not suitable uh, for a boat that doesn't bend in the middle. It's alright if you've got a little cruiser or something, you could get in, but uh, we didn't stand a chance. So uh, yeah, we'll keep going, we'll find a mooring soon.